Hello, my name is Patrick Ayala, and I am a deacon elect studying here at St. John's Seminary in Camarillo, California. I was born in the city of Glendale here in California, and I am also the only child. For most of my life, I attended Catholic education. I enrolled at the Juan Diego House, graduated from Cal State Dominguez Hills, and now I spent the last couple of years here preparing myself for the priesthood. When I was growing up, the number one instillers of the faith was my mother and father. Luckily, I was blessed to have a wonderful fourth grade teacher that also helped me develop my spirituality and to find examples of our missionary priests at the school I was in helped me find my calling to the priesthood. I was very excited. Unfortunately, however, entering fifth grade, difficult times came upon my family. I stopped practicing the faith. I lost all hope. I decided to throw off the cross I was carrying. However, I was blessed to go to a wonderful high school where I met wonderful people that helped me rediscover my vocation through prayer, through mass, helping others in need in our community, whether it be children from disadvantaged areas, tutoring them, or just simply listening to the pain that people went through. However, although I began to hear the call of God again, leading towards the priesthood, I was a little nervous. I was that excited fourth grader. I was nervous because I didn't want to give up what I wanted to do. I didn't want to give up having a family. I didn't want to give up being a history teacher. However, I realized that, what, that fear keeps us away from the wonderful plans that God has for us. He lets us choose. But if we go with what he wants for us, we'll find ultimate happiness in our life. And I'm blessed to say since that day I let go of my fear and said yes to him, I've never been so much happier than I am now. In today's gospel, we see the importance of the cross. In this exaltation of the cross, some of us might look at the cross and think feelings of dread, feelings of negativity, thinking of all those people that were executed on the cross, including Jesus. However, the cross offers us hope. It offers us comfort during these difficult times we encounter, whether it be difficulties in our workplace, in our studies, in our families and friendships. The cross reminds us that Christ went through that suffering as well. Christ went through betrayal, through pain, through humiliation, through sadness. We have a God that understands exactly what we're going through and is there for us every step of the way, even when we think we are alone. Many of us, unfortunately, are human and fall into doubt, into worry. We act like the people of Israel in the first reading, where they're complaining, thinking that God has abandoned them. Yet, even when we have those moments of darkness, even when we have those moments of doubt, God's still there, ever faithful, ever patient, ever loving. What we're encouraged to do in the gospel is to pick up our cross and continue our path in our lives, helping those we encounter along the way. In the gospel, we are reminded that God will exalt those that are suffering, that God loved us so much that he brought his only begotten son to suffer and die for us so that we can be free from the bondage of sin. These things will help us remember and keep strong during these times of trial and through the sacraments such as the Blessed Eucharist of Confession and Sacred Scripture. These are the tools that will help us carry our cross and continue on forward like Christ did. I want to let you know that I am praying for each and every one of you, for your loved ones, that God will be with you every step of the way, and know that you have friends and family that will help you carry your cross in your moments of difficulty. God bless you, and thank you very much. Please pray for me and my classmates, that we soon be ordained deacons and God willing.
your future priests. God bless you.